Right, in this video I am unboxing, I've just unboxed my new monitor for my computer. It's the Samsung 32 inch E310 LED Full HD uh, TV monitor and uh, I, my old monitor has packed up my 27 inch and it's a 180 as well, 1080p and I do recommend for computers the 1080p rather than 4K monitors because what normally happens everything gets shrunk down for my purposes anyway too shrunk down for me to use so um, so this is the Samsung 32 inch E310 TV monitor as they say right okay so what I noticed when I unboxed it this stand mounting stand comes in two parts this top bit is for the top of the wall mount and this bottom bit is for the bottom of the wall mount and it when you when you want to mount it on the wall you separate these two where they come separate anyway put this at the top of the wall and there, there's um mark uh, guides where to drill the holes in the walls and obviously it comes with the full pack of your accessories, your, your cables, it hasn't got HDMI and there's a wall mount in there, I'm not going to mount it to the wall, I'm just going to use it as a TV desktop monitor and uh, incidentally I was actually looking for a TV to replace the monitor and I thought to myself if I lose any fidelity in the sh switch from monitor to TV I can always make it up with the size of going from 27 inch to 32 but I was kind of got lucky and uh, if you look on the box there it says that uh, this particular model is a TV monitor so it's designed to be a monitor and a TV it's designed if you look at the picture this is the uh, the bottom half that bit there is number two and the top bit is number one and and I'm going to set it up for the first the stand type and I've sort of clumped them together and if you look here to separate them this goes to the bottom of the monitor and the top bit goes to the top the thing is so I got lucky I bought I was going to buy a TV anyway and it just so happens that this is a TV monitor and it's at sale in a moment from uh, Curry's PC World uh, so let's get it right way up. Mega deal, two hundred pounds. Bought it in Bracknell, and uh, thing about it, full HD LED TV or PC monitor. It says here, if you read, the perfect monitor, dub the perfect monitor. So it's actually a monitor. So. Obviously, when you use a monitor on a PC, you get higher fidelity, right? It's better, it's sharper, it's designed for PCs, and it doubles as a perfect personal TV. So it's amazing. This it really, it really kind of panned out well for me. TE three ten wide viewing angle. It could do multiple tasks, multiple, multiple uh, things on the screen. You can have half a TV and half a monitor going on at the same time, apparently. Um, you can even have nine split split screens on. So, without further ado, I'm going to set it all up and uh, ramp up my computer, plug it into HDMI. So, two HDMI's and one and one USB, I think. And it's only two hundred pounds at the moment. So, let's have a look at the quality of it. I'll check, I'll put it all together and. Right, the energy usage sticker on it is A+, plus. so it's 28 watts, so that's quite a low wattage, that's pretty good. I've um, got the stand on, I'll spin it around the important bit, it feels cheap, cheap kind of hard plastic, nothing like my outgoing 27 inch Samsung, which is series 7 monitor but one of the reasons just from a point out why I chose why I went for a TV this time 
and use it as a monitor instead of accidentally buying a TV plus monitor designed that way was I thought I'm going to get although my old monitor had um, speakers on it this one's got true surround sound and it's got proper built in TV speakers so as you can see that's a very important point right it's got the uh, SCART cable RGB it's got the uh, component in so if you're using a games console sometimes you use the component in you just plug them all in use those sort of cables digital audio optical output headphone socket that's got the HDMI USB 5 volts charging or um, if you wanted wireless but this is not a smart TV point that out again this is not a smart TV HDMI 2 common interface and antenna as well I've, I found that I've got a smart 4k TV at home I don't really use the smart function of it at all I don't go on the internet of it all I do is I just use the computer on it so I will not be able to connect my my uh, OnePlus 5T phone onto this is because it's not a smart TV you get a power input made in Hungary okay so just to spin it around it's got the Samsung look to it even though it's 200 pounds which is quite cheap for this f1 monitor 32 inch one it's um pretty sleek it's got a nice sleek design so let's uh last thing i do is to test seems to fit just right in the slot where i left my old 27 inch samsung and it comes with a controller with batteries it's also quite smart and as soon as I plugged in the HDMI cable well I plugged in of course the first switched on the computer press the little red power button came on immediately there was no fiddling around which is great so never used this before I'm hoping that I'm going to use it it's a bit, tiny bit slow. I wonder if I can use the mouse on it. It just goes, the down button seems okay. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. That's the return button there. English. So I think I better move it along. It's telling me what I do. Country, United Kingdom, set top box, source. HDMI next next your Samsung TV is now really used simple as that okay so that's my computer smashing sounds good next thing we'll test the uh, sound out sure so notice the uh, TV monitor is missing out some of my icons on the far left of the screen and upper so I've noticed there's a tools button here tools button just here so let's go to picture mode it says it can or picture size it says it can adjust up to 25% so it's going through all the different ones which is not good none of these are any good screen fit Oh, that was, oops, what did I do that for? That worked, didn't it? So, picture size. Screen fit, that's the one. I could have gone to custom. If I press custom, I think I, well, I was expecting to be able to change it, but nope. Screen fit's the one, so there we go. That solved that problem. Looks sharp. I can use it, I can work with it not hyper quality like dedicated monitor but pretty good right so I've got my World of Tank game loaded up let's wipe the volume out if you hear any background noise it's the, uh, the computer my noisy computer in the background 
So I've turned it up, what, a third of the way in volume? Let's check some explosions out. It's fine. <coughs> nice deep sound. I've turned surround sound on. Gang up on him. Right, let's, let's chase him around. Sounds pretty good. So, if you like what you've seen today, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and um, do I recommend this? Is it better than a monitor? No, it's not as bright as a monitor, I don't think. I could probably adjust the brightness. Is the sound perfect? It's okay. It's good for £200. I'm happy with uh, my purchase here. I want to say fairly cheap. I'll get out of there. Right, thanks for watching. Right, I should be recording, and I just wanted to show you where I s capture screen capture using uh, capture software just to show you the difference so I couldn't upgrade by using the USB method onto the TV to upgrade the TV itself the firmware on it it said it's got the latest version however I've upgraded my graphic card the best to the uh, best of its ability the latest one for the GTS 680 and uh, so I've, I've also expanded the letters to it so it's my personal choice of 125 percent these are the uh, the slight kind of like graininess in the windows kind of output display but any other program seems to be fine though uh, it's just a windows one Say for example, if I go to my animation program, that looks perfectly fine to me, really clear, and this will make it easier for me to use this particular program than before. It's really large, it's clear, there's no graininess, perfect. And uh, so, what I've gained in audio quality I've lost slightly for the kind of output for the for the letters in Windows um, my, one of my favorite guys to watch on TV this is still shot of his uh, video it's like a, a foundation of lettuce underneath there there are eggs and tomatoes so that's Mark Wings it talks about food, he's a food pundit and that looks really good better, you know, as, as good as it can be for 1080p, it's really clear and sharp, so that's my full review thanks for watching